Boys, welcome. Today we're gonna be reacting to Night Runners. We have new footage of the JDM racing game that's gonna launch at the end of September this year, 2022. They have been working on this game for a pretty long time. They have a Discord server as well if you wanna like get up to date. So this game will be like 90s racing game and everyone is really hyped for that. So I'm gonna be looking at that footage. Here we go. So this is customization. We have a 180 over here. I guess this is is like a store where you can go and upgrade stuff here you can change the headlights different type of headlights all right different bumpers the blurring effect is really weird <laughs> it gets really foggy all the time when you're like changing the parts but all the parts they have different weight to it and oh the car has like some kind of badges there as well i think these are big badges car has like really fat tires there as well Forty thousand yen for 11 parts and when you get these 11 parts you can go into your garage with that box of new parts and you can install all the parts and check it out this is your 180 now with all the parts installed this is actually pretty cool i wonder if we can like change the wheel fitment as well the wheels are like kind of inside there at the moment okay what do we have here customization oh yeah if you want to customize you gotta go back here again you can do the inside as well even floor mats okay the wheels do look sick i like the white wheel there different gauges all right oh the stereo as well samurai sword i want that <laughs> that looked epic oh bucket seats as well and yeah, that's pretty cool so what do we have here different stats 67,000 yen for nine parts all right now you're gonna install the interior parts okay car is looking juicy another box where are you gonna go with the other box what is that box here is the full interior it just removed the seat there why is it removing the seat remove rear seats oh so if you want to put new seats in you gotta remove the other seats first i guess oh or maybe Maybe he is just doing it for the weight reduction. Oh, okay. You can remove the seats to have weight reduction. All right, I got you. Yeah, the engine over here. What is it? 276 horsepower. All right, I guess now he's going back into the store to get some engine upgrades. Air filters add power as well. Yep, all right. Exhaust manifold, intake manifold, intercooler, radiator, spark plugs, turbo. Ooh, you can get a biggest pulley boy as well. I wonder if the biggest pulley boy is gonna make different sound as well. Fuel system, engine head, pistons as well, oil cooling, ECU, 1.2 thousand horsepower. What? Yo, that's crazy. 160,000 yen though. All right, and boom, you have all the parts. Easiest installation ever. To do that in Drift 21, that would take you like two hours, bro. Part looks nice. Wheel fitment needs some work. Engine, yeah, 1.2 thousand horsepower. Max speed is 400 kilometers per hour. Okay, now we're gonna fix the rims all right let's see the rims are a little small oh he's bringing it out okay this is beautiful i wonder if we can easily make the rim size bigger i think he did it i think it's bigger now yeah this is looking pretty beautiful now these are very famous rims in japan as well like if you go on actual japan car meets you see a lot of these rims okay he's getting more purchases oh like uh, red calipers yeah gotta have that man is now adding front camber i don't know why doing that if you're just racing maybe that's a drift build no he wants camber in the rear as well and he's gonna slam it oh baby it looks so good when slammed though Ooh. okay this is sick i guess you can cruise around with camber as well brake caliper color you gotta go with red you just lost horsepower what do you mean black calipers you have like minus 10 horsepower now car looks beautiful though guys the graphics look absolutely amazing these are the perfect graphics and these graphics don't get old as well 10 years from now these are gonna be okay graphics this is the best part the game like has some kind of an interesting filter on as well i can't really explain what filter it is but paint is fifty thousand yen that's a scam oh god please don't go with this color oh no okay painting the rims now hundred well, what wait the rims cost more than the whole car that didn't make sense wait livery the car comes with like liveries oh wait you can apply your own liveries that is a png are you telling me you can get a livery from your pc and apply it into the game that would be game changing guys if you could do that get a picture from your pc and put it on a car as a livery oh here's gameplay it looks like all need for speed to be honest the gauges are really 
slower. Oh, it's the speed effect. If you go fast, this is what happens. It is really shaky. I would definitely want to disable the shake effect and probably the blur effect as well. There's too many effects going on. Otherwise, it looks good. All right, there's a uh, car me to be here. Case okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've got another race soon. Make this quick, boy. Oh, you can accept an offer. 300,000 yen over here. And now you're gonna race for money. Okay, we need like races where you can bet on people. Some older games had this feature, right? All right, they're gonna line up. They're gonna race. And this dude is gonna give us the start here as well. All right. Oh, he's like flashing with the mobile phone. Okay, this is pretty cool. And now you're like street racing. Okay, the NPC is like actually OP as well. Now you gotta like avoid traffic. What is this red line there in the sky? What is that? Like some kind of a tower? Like a weird alien beam going on there? Oh, maybe that shows the finish. I don't know. I'm honestly excited about this game. And here's like an early version that shows us that we have NOS bottles as well. You can remove the passenger seat and put NOS there instead. This is crazy. You either have a passenger or three bottles of NOS. Oh my goodness. I feel like too many effects on the gameplay. Hopefully in the options we can remove the effects. Do you guys agree? I would like to see like the clean version of it. I mean definitely exciting boys. Couple of months from now we're gonna get this game. I really hope it doesn't get delayed. Honestly like guys we need more games. Even if it's rough. Even if it's raw. Even if it has bugs. We need a new game. We need new racing games. We need new drifting games as well. So hopefully we're gonna get the car X street. We're gonna be able to drift there. We're gonna get night runners. We're gonna be able to race there. And Need for Speed 2020. 22 is supposed to come as well so three awesome games this year boys seems like a good year so let's hope for the best so boys if you want to stay tuned about racing games drifting games subscribe and drop that like as well and as always stay sideways